सो हेलो फोक्स दिस इज आर प्रोजेक्ट होडोर सो वाई होडोर एंड वॉट इज होडोर आर प्रोजेक्ट नेम इज होडोर द नेम होडोर हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम अ वेरी वेरी फेमस अमेरिकन टी वी सीरीज दैट इज गेम ऑफ थ्रोन सो द कैरेक्टर होडोर ट्राई टू होल्ड द डोर फ्रॉम द ईविल वाइट वॉकर्स बट ही कुडेंट सो इफ ही वुड बी हैविंग एनी मोबाइल डिवाइस और एनी काइंड ऑफ इंटरफेस विद दिस प्रोग्राम इम्प्लीमेंटेड ही वुड हैव इन अ लाइव राइट नाउ सो टू मेक इट पॉसिबल वी डिसाइन Who do to hold that door? So in in short and sweet, I would like to call this as the mother PC. Ah, uh, this is the Raspberry Pi three. It is better than Raspberry Pi two because it has one GB RAM. This is the HDMI port and it has four USB ports here. One is the audio jack and that's the power source which is which is connected with the power source which gives two ampere of current. It has forty pins. For forty connections and one point two gigahertz processor of our ARM Cortex. This is a real, really powerful microcontroller, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, which is really uh, useful and it is quite better than Pi Two because it has Wi-Fi in, which is already inbuilt and this can be used to connect the rest of the devices which has been implemented over here. <laughs> um so let's start with the first and the foremost feature of this home automation this is the ldr sensor here it is the ldr sensor a capacitor has been attached to it the laser makes the connection and this completes the circuit so if we come so if we close the door uh i'll show it to you so if we close the door all the switch or uh, everything will be disconnected as it completes the circuit Show it to you again. Hodor uh, is a website which has been created on PHP. It is running on Raspberry Pi, which is over there. Uh, a server has been made in Raspberry Pi, and we a dedicated IP has been given. So we have connected over Raspberry Pi, and I will show you the functions of it. pi camera so if any connection is made for example a person comes in so the pi camera will take the photo and it will mail to the registered email id so if for example if a thief or any person comes into the room he is and the, the pi camera takes the photo and we get the photo on the mail id registered email id so right now we are dealing with a temperature and humidity sensor for that we are using the cron job whose main job is to uh, update the data in after every 20 minutes and it updates the data into database for database we are right now using mysql database connectivity and also uh, to retrieve the data we are using php php then connects the data with the help php then connects the page with the help of ethernet or any wireless connectivity for this graph that has that is being shown on the uh, laptop right now we are using the google apis the orange mark that you can see on the graph shows the humidity these are the main intervals that has been taken after every 20 minutes and has been updated periodically and also in the blue we are able to see the temperature updates this is this data has been shown for the whole one day so our next module is the soil moisture sensor um first i will tell you the scope of it the soil moisture sensor works fine in the places where there is scarcity of water and you don't have much time to look after the plant so you just need to install the sensor uh, which is soil moisture sensor and this works totally fine i will show you how it works this is a soil moisture sensor right now there's no water in this so there will be no conductivity which we cannot see anything right now so we are seeing a sad plant over here because there's no water inside it i will show you 
how it works. So right now we can see that after pouring the water, there's moisture inside the soil. There's moisture inside the soil, so conductance is happening and there's a happy plant. So we can even monitor it from a smartphones like this. This one has a huge scope in the market. We can do it in the less water areas like Rajasthan in India. Um, for example, uh, I live in Amity University, Rajasthan. And this is a very dry state. So we, we cannot water the plants every day as we don't, know, we don't have water so much. So if we install this soil moisture sensor about from about 10 meters or 20 meters, we will get a perfect data on how much moisture is there inside the land. So when we will fix a threshold limit for that and if the water moisture comes below the threshold limit, our sprinklers will water the plants and when they are above the limit, the sprinklers will close. So as we can see right now, I'm applying some smoke in this sensor. So sensor. So here in smartphone, we can see that the, that the sensor has already taken the value. That is, we are not safe right now and we have to move out immediately. Guess, gas sensor technical name is actually one uh, NQ135. Also, it has three pins, VCC, ground and data pin. So VCC is responsible for applying the voltage. Data pin is uh, responsible for taking the data. Also, if you look at the gas sensor right now, there is no smoke right here. So it is sending a zero reading to the system. The moment it gets any kind of smoke or any kind of gas, it sends one to that is a true billion uh, value to the system. So in future, we can really use this gas sensor module. Like for example, in big laboratories and factories, where a lot of work is done on chemicals and gases. There has been many preca precautions that has been taken uh, recently because of the man-made disaster. So instead of taking any kind of precaution that are really costly, we can actually apply this module and get our task done simply. That's it. So this is our next module. This is the ultrasonic sensor. The main working principle of this is first uh, the, the echo is sent from here. It, it goes from here to there. Um, and trigger comes from there to here. The main uh, principle behind this is the time is calculated and by the time we get the distance. So by that distance we calculate a threshold, we fix a threshold and if the threshold breaks, the alarm triggers. I'll show you that. So here you can see that uh, we broke the system. We open the window, so the alarm triggered, and according to the programmed system, uh, the lights started to shut down and off, or start, started to switch on and off. And the best thing about this is we will get a notification. The Pi camera will take a photo of it, and we will get a notification in the mobile here. This is the notification, so we can easily capture the thief or any person who is breaking the system who comes into the room. you about the future scope of this home automation and this ultrasonic sensor if you're if you're trying to buy a new house and if you're trying to make it into a smart home then this ultrasonic sensor is one of the ma major important feature you should implement in your house if a thief or any person tries to come through the window then it will trigger an alarm it will send you a mail it will send you a mail and a notification and you can further add a feature that you will contact the police automatically so this is one of the most important feature we can see right here the ultrasonic sensor has been connected with among the two resistors also also here if we have a look we are connected with those sensor along with the two resistors and just over here we are connected with all the sensors also 
we can see that ultrasonic sensor is supplying 5 volts of voltage and rest of the remaining sensors like temperature sensor, soil sensor, gas sensor, switch and also door status switch is applying with 3.3 volts. So the main purpose of our project is to handle the AC devices. In order to handle the AC devices, we need 230 volts of voltage. So what we did here, what uh, is that we used four switches of relay switch and we connected the wires to Raspberry Pi. Four switches of relay switch uh, and we are also using the four uh, GPIO pins from Raspberry Pi. You can see that we have connected the uh, 12 volts supply with relay switch and that relay switch ground has been shortened with the Pi. Also, we can all, uh, we can demonstrate with relay switch that has been connected with the AC supply just right here. So uh, what we have done here is that uh, we have created a hotspot and our hotspot is being connected to Raspberry Pi right now. We are uh, having an interaction with uh, Raspberry Pi. So we can see on the web page we are having some few buttons that is home, automation, about and of course team. So starting with the main thing, main theme of our project that is automation. Automation has uh, first categories are living room, then temperature sensor, then plant or uh, you can say a soil sensor. Then you, we have a gas sensor, a security sen security purpose sensor type of thing. And then we are having a last but not the least category that is capture. So as we can see, we have used the basic bootstrap file along with some basic CSS and of course the HTML. So here is the table which has been created on PHP for the dynamic purpose. So here is our pl plant sensor or you can say soil sensor. Uh, we have used a basic image uh, of plant which tells that uh, no water is required and the gas sensor tells us that uh, if you are having any safety purposes we have capture that is uh, being controlled by a Raspberry Pi camera and it takes it takes a photo right now just having a demo so here's the demo of raspberry pi camera we can see here's my friend apu standing over there with his very weird look so we can now stop the camera so this is our about page that tells what is our project all about it tells about hodor how it all started we are using the elements here and the functions the specifications all of the whole theory that we have used is simply over here. So here's a team that is uh, containing three members. First is Smith Kabrawala, then Apu Neeraj Verma and last that's me, that Pratik Gogia. Uh, me, uh, Pratik and Smith are responsible for UI and a partial hardware and Apu is mainly responsible for all the hardware stuff, all the connections, all the Raspberry Pi interaction and all. So yeah, that's our team.